this is Bert Newton welcoming you to the Don Lane Show, seen throughout Australia on the National Mind Network and affiliate stations. Tonight, Don's special guests, the world's number one show business family, the Osmonds. And now, here's Don. Thank you very much, and uh, it's lovely to have you here tonight. Hi. Hi. You're great. All right. We're in good shape. Welcome to the Don Lane Show tonight with the entire Osmond family. They're all going to be here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just thought by way of introducing ourselves, uh, hi, I'm Donnie. <laughs> and that's Bertie. <laughs> hi there, Bertie. <laughs> When you think about it, uh, it's really strange. You know, last year we brought you Sammy Davis Jr., and tonight it's the Osmonds. Or if you want to look at it another way, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a friend. He wouldn't. Uh, that'll say. get back. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> now I'm in trouble, right? I haven't even started yet. I'm in trouble. It was really something when I met the Osmonds this afternoon. It's really when I walk into this room, and there they all were. It looked like someone left the lid up in a piano factory. You know? <laughs> all there. Uh, also on the show tonight um, is the fabulous Julie Anthony, who is going to be singing for us tonight as well. Uh, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's here representing the Anthony family. It's, uh, it's been a real family week uh, for Julie. Last week she performed in front of the royal family, and tonight it's the Osmond family. And there's only one difference between the two families. I think the Osmonds are richer. <laughs> you know, seeing the, uh, seeing the Osmonds here today brings back a lot of memories to me. Memories to you? Like of what? Well, when I was a teenage idol. I, you, I, know, I know exactly how Tony... Wait a, wait, you wait, believe me. Wait, 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 a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me, Morton, that you were a, <laughs> a teenage idol. I am a teenage... Well, you, now, you remember the act very well, the Newton Ayers. <laughs> the Newton Ayers. The Newton Ayers. With the brothers? Yeah, there was Tommy. Yes. There was Jackie. Jackie. And there was Bobby. Bobby. And there was Bertie. Of course, I was the heartthrob. I can recall <laughs> our very first appearance at Festival Hall. Yes. 8,000 teenagers screaming and yelling as one. What were they yelling? We want our money back. <laughs> 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 but, but speaking of that, you know, the Osmonds concerts, all of them have been completely sold out. Oh, big deal. <laughs> What did you say? I said, uh, big, big deal. I mean, I, I don't... Well, wait a minute, what kind of a way is that to talk about guests on a show? We got guests on a show, I tell you the oh, concerts no, are I what? didn't mean that. I didn't mean to, uh, to offend our guests. I'm what? just saying, well, well, with nine Mormons, yeah. and you out there, yeah. unless, we, unless, we <laughs> unless we crack it for a Catholic on the wheel for our mob, it's going to be a long... <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I, you hear us say it a lot, but I really promise you tonight, you are going to be just delighted. These are, I've got to say this before we start the show, it doesn't sound like we're patting each other on the back. These are the most cooperative, most wonderful bunch of people I have ever had the pleasure of working with. They just, what, there isn't enough that they can do for us. So by way of closing the show right now, we're like, no, I, no, really and truly, I really mean it. They are absolutely fantastic. And they're going to open the show for us. You're going to see it. We open the curtain back there. They got their own band. Here's four of the brothers. Here's little Jimmy, Wayne, Alan, and Jay. And if you give them a big hand, we're going to hear the resurrection shuffle. And this is a big night, and we're off, okay? Here they are. All right. You let your 
gas, put your head in the air. Look at this shine in the storm. And, uh, and welcome. If you just joined us, uh, we've got the Osmonds here tonight. She's a little bit country, and he's a little bit rock and roll. And together, they're a whole lot talented. I'm, I'm speaking, of course, about superstars Marie and Donnie Osmond. Uh, it's been a delight to watch them grow up, and haven't they done it beautifully? Uh, together, they won the hearts of Americans in the world with the Donnie and Marie show, and through it all, they've just maintained their high principles, and they've given a new, fresh, and clean look to show business. Uh, in spite of all of that success, and all the attention that's been lauded on them, uh, they still remain the two very lovely and down-to-earth people. And I'm really anxious for you to meet them in person. Here's Donnie and Marie. All right? <laughs> I, I tell you. We trained them for a long time in Did here. Did you? Yeah. Great. The other, ones, the other ones you've taken charge of. I hear the, the concerts. First of all, I was surprised to find out today that the concerts are completely sold out everywhere. They told me that. Well, we couldn't be happier, I tell you. We've, we've wanted to come back for so long. It's been about five years. It's back in 75. Well, not for you, though. You were here just Well, I was here last July in uh, Perth. I yeah. did the uh, yes, Miss Universe. Universe. Right, yeah. But we're so happy to be back. To be back. It must just be fair. The reports on the show are absolutely unbelievable. I don't want to keep throwing things at you, but it's just been great, you know? Really, really good. Thank We've you. We've had a wonderful time. It, it's been terrific. As you can see, the audiences are fantastic. Yeah. We really are. All the girls have been commenting today. They've all been saying, Oh, have you seen Marie's skin? Oh. <laughs> they keep talking about it. She's got the best skin. You know, it's like I'm supposed to walk up to you and not say you're beautiful. I'm supposed to look at you and say your skin is terrific. <laughs> <laughs> like there isn't oh, anything else. You. You just, yes. Thank you. But uh, you're into all of that beauty thing. We'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to talk. What about you two? Uh, has he, you being the, the little girl. Uh, the little sister. The yeah. little sister. Um, was he protective towards you? Or? Well, I have eight brothers and I'm the only girl. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you could say that they were protective. Mm -hmm. They, uh, I love it. I, uh, I love having, uh, I have eight older brothers. No, I have seven older brothers and one little brother, Jimmy. He's Jimmy, not yeah. so little anymore. 
But uh, it's great. I guess you could say they kind of spoiled me, you know, as I was growing up. Why did we spoil her? <laughs> <laughs> She's old enough now to make her, her own decisions for herself, so I'm not well, that protective. Well, thank you, Donnie. I'm not that protective, <laughs> you know. They used to be, not so much anymore. Were you protective but about him before he got married? Oh, sure. Yeah? Sure. I think it works both ways. Mm. It, it was, it, was it a tough adjustment, married life, for you? or? Uh... No, it wasn't. It wasn't that tough. It, uh, it was something that I wanted, and uh, I found, the, uh, found a great girl. She's terrific. They knew each other for five years, and I, I watched the whole courtship as it went on and everything. And any comments? Did you give them any advice? They're or? both crazy. Is that right? <laughs> 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 what about the repartee between you two? Now, uh, when we watched the television show, we used to see you, you know, throwing lines back and forth. Naturally, a lot of that is scripted, but did a lot of that come out of real well, life? Well, a lot of it isn't scripted. Oh, <laughs> what we did... On the, on the on Donnie Marie show, we'd learn the script, uh, the monologue or duologue, if you call it that, mm. uh, and we'd throw the script away, and then we'd say it the way we want to say it. Of course, you have the uh, the idiot cards or the cue cards, mm. but uh, we would say things the way we want to say it, and, and then, it's more natural that way. And we'd rib way. each other back and forth and things like that. It wasn't very hard to rib him though, because everything he did was usually stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> that is the way <laughs> I'm going to have to watch myself the rest of the evening. I can yes, see that coming. Yeah. We have a good time together. We really do. Yes, it looks like you do. I was just I noticed the family today. Although, Alan, uh, who sang over there before, will be out here a little bit. He seems to be the one that cracks the whip a little bit. Well, he Alan is the oldest in the performing group, and yeah. uh, the oldest usually takes charge. Father oversees everything. Mm. He's the boss. And then uh, we come under Alan. Of course, starting so young in the business, uh, you know, you, you were exposed to big time show business, both of you, from a very young age. Yes. Did it ever worry you? Was it ever nerve wracking? Did it ever, uh, were you ever hesitant about it? Were you ever saying, am I doing the right thing? Or is it just natural for you? Well, we weren't pushed in the business. I wasn't pushed in the business, and Marie wasn't either. It was something that we wanted. Mm. And uh, there were only four. Uh, Osmonds in the original group, and uh, we had to prove ourselves. We wanted to prove that, uh, uh, that we were good enough to be in the group, so I remember hours and hours I'd sit in front of the record player listening to Andy Williams' records, mm. trying to work on my voice and things like that. Finally, when I was three, I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> it took a long time. <laughs> At three, you perfected Andy Williams' voice? That's, a, that's, that's wonderful, yes. How big an influence was he? Well, of course, you weren't in that Andy Williams era. I, I uh, did one Andy Williams show. I was three mm. years old also. And I, uh, I danced with Andy and sang a song with him. Mm. But it didn't really appeal to me until later on. I was about, uh, well, I worked overseas when I was six and seven years old. And I sang Swedish and things over there, Japan. Mm. And uh, it didn't really appeal to me until I turned about 11 years old. And my little brother Jimmy got our first gold record for us in Japan. And I said, here's my little brother working. I said, this is ridiculous. And so I went back to Nashville and did Paper Roses, and that's when I started. Do you have a, I'm going to get in trouble for asking this question. Do you have a current boyfriend now? Uh, you. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm really going to start a rumor No, here. don't. Don't, don't. We, no, I'm having a good time right now. I'm, I'm just, uh, I have a lot of nice guys. I don't blame I you. If I looked like you, I'd have a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> But, the, but there isn't any steady uh, no, in, in Marie's life. No. No, no. I'm just enjoying my work and, and just do having you think, a good time. Do you think it would be difficult for Marie Osmond, uh, a young lady, uh, successful, uh, I don't want to embarrass you, but successful, beautiful, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and talent and everything going for, oh, gee, I'll give you a little pile of sand, you could kick it. Oh, gee whiz, game. <laughs> yeah, but um, when, a, when a fella uh, <coughs> wants to approach you in a romantic manner, would that ever worry you about... Um, would it worry him maybe about what he is? You know, I mean, you being so well known. Am I saying this right? No, I think I am. I don't think I am. Well, I'll talk over here. Okay. <laughs> now, what I meant was that, you know, being who you are, does that scare fellas off? Maybe that's a better way of putting it. I, I don't know. Would it scare? I don't. Well? Would, would you be scared off? I would. <laughs> no? I wouldn't trust this mob as far as I could throw them. <laughs> um, the Beauty Secret book. You came out with this book. We talked about it on a satellite interview. 
Uh, yes. yes. Does that include makeup and, and... It was really a fun project. I had a really good time doing it. It took two years to write it, and I wrote it. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what it is is uh, a lot of girls have asked me questions about uh, makeup and hair and figure and fashion and, and things that I have learned uh, growing up in the business and working with some of the best people in the business mm -hmm. as far as those different areas. And so I sat down with uh, a lady who helped me uh, put it all together. And I wrote it, and we corresponded the whole thing together and came up with a book. It was just released in the States, and it's out by Simon & Schuster. Mm -hmm. It's called Marie Osmond's Guide to Beauty, <laughs> Health, and Style. Well, I understand you can show us something about makeup if we wanted you to do it now. Is that right? Sure, if you'd like to. Do you have a makeup uh, arrangement here? Do you? Is this my oh, makeup? Okay. Yes. What do we need? Somebody to... Yeah, one thing. We'd probably need someone to try this on. To try this I on? I have mine on already. Well, hang on a minute. I'll see if I can get somebody on. Okay. <laughs> Are you... Uh, you're done, done, done. I think, is he done? Do you have somebody? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be a Hi, Ronnie! Oh, great! Oh, great! You know, you know, yeah. I uh, didn't see it. You know, you know Bonnie, and you met Marie already on your radio. Hi, Marie. Show. How are you? Yeah. You've got the most terrific skin. <laughs> <laughs> well, just sit down. Yeah, and I was just, just going to say the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I help you? Crazy about me. Crazy. <laughs> well, let's see here. Um, I guess basically what we'll start with is... Um, My skin? As far as makeup, you already have a base on. <laughs> well, I'm going out half the show. <laughs> ladies like to do is they like to uh, make their face emphasize different bone structures and basically I don't think you'll find any bones on here <laughs> <laughs> and basically what you try to do is you try to um, de define the bone structures because basically every bone that you define in the face it all uh, makes it all goes to the eyes to emphasize the eyes right, I okay see. I don't believe we're doing this yes. but we'll do it is she allowed to touch Catholics yes <laughs> powder way right now because it's right. uh, it's really easy to do. I oh, see. isn't he pretty? Yes, yeah, very nice. <laughs> Let's see this we'll, we'll try this side. Yeah. Now what we're doing is we're taking his face since it's a little round, you know. Oh, I see. <laughs> so by, it's all right. She's, she's really very nice, Bert. She, she doesn't mean it. I see. So by putting the dark there, you're emphasizing these cheeks, like it, and it looks like he's got sort of high cheekbones. High cheekbones. You have great cheekbones. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. <laughs> I <need that. laughs> And what you what you do with with the powders, you take the dark and you build a darker. Then you put the color. Then you put the lighter, so it makes yeah. it look like. Well, what about the eyes? Do you do anything about the eyes? Okay. Well. <laughs> like trying to find them. <laughs> you look up. Oh no. I don't believe this. What do you mean? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what you do is you, you want to make his eyes look good, uh, larger. Yeah. So we'll just put a little dark guy in here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can tell you how silly you are. No. The hair, the hair! Donnie, would you do me a favor? Yes, okay. Would you do these out and start putting some of this on it, okay? Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> those are fake, those are eyelashes. Oh my goodness, you're going to put eyelashes on. Okay, look at that. Wait till the boys at Fitzroy get a look at you tomorrow. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, don't move around. It's going to okay. be very good. Yes, I think this will be wonderful. We're trying to hurry here, but... That's all right. No, you don't have to worry, Marie. We've got plenty of time. That's all right. Okay, we'll give you a little eye there. All right. <laughs> look at the way your, your eyes are coming up. Well, look at that. You look like a silent... <laughs> you look... <laughs> you look like a silent... <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, now we're gonna, since your eye has a little bit of an overlap, over you know. Okay, close your eye. He said, Bert's, what if I have Bert's a by night? No, no. <laughs> Bert's the only guy I know that has bags on top of his eyes. You know? <laughs> That's the way I sleep. <laughs> Oh, pretty. Oh, wow. What color is it, Don? <laughs> Your favorite, puce. This is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of a uh, real natural color. It's kind of a plum brown color. Okay? Oh, beautiful. Got my eyes. Yes. <laughs> oh, it is plum brown. It's very okay. lovely. Yeah. It's do, you need more, do you need more glue on that? No, that looks good. Okay. okay. I'd like, to, I'd like everybody to notice how well Donnie put the glue on the eyelashes. I'm hey. Getting, uh, hey! No, that's hey, all. Hey, only, hey. only for me. Only for me. Okay. All right. Now, yeah. what we're going to do. Right. Doing this one? Oh, this will be wonderful, Bert. <laughs> this, I'm going to get Marie out here for the next Logie Awards. Okay. My and, wife is one. And here's another one to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. And hold it. Okay. Yeah. Are you still there? Yes. Okay, give me oh, the other one. Yeah. There's the other one. Oh, Bert. Oh, Bert. Marie, Honey, Marie. Listen, does does it, it feel like it's... The hair, Marie, the hair. <laughs> now, with eyelashes, you put them clear out to the end. You don't necessarily put them all the way into the eye. It depends on the eye, whether your eye is set out or in. So right. Oh, are these are the bottoms, are they? Yes. Oh, all right, what are we doing now? I feel... No. <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Mind if I blow on you? Huh? There we go. All right, now look up. <laughs> okay, look clear up. Oh. There you go. I can't believe it. He thought he looked like Tony Curtis. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. Bert, you should do this all the time. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell you everything. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. Don't put too much glue on it. Yeah, a little bit. You're having trouble with that eye? Yes. Well, sh should I take it out for you? <laughs> no, that's it. There you go. There we go. There now, go. Just the bottom one. Now, there. the white will dry clear, so you won't okay, see Okay, okay. And we'll put the last one on here, and then we'll get a good close up look at Bert, and then we'll go away for a commercial break, because okay. you two are going to sing a song for us, I hear. Yeah, love All right. Kids. Not you, oh, Donnie yeah. and Marie. <laughs> of course, you need them. Yeah. Oh, we just. Donnie, don't worry. Donnie, do this. Donnie, do what? No, do this. Do what? Look up. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's going to be a two-person operation here. If you've just tuned in, I fell apart at the start of the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, Thanks. now, it, this is part of Marie, too. I think we need a real close-up there, just into the lens, and let's have a look. Oh, very well. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Hey, we'll be back. they got a song in a minute. Hang in there. We'll be right back. <laughs> now will you take me out? Yes. <laughs> no. well, have you seen the professor? Julia Sumner Miller. Yeah. No, I, wait a minute. He's coming on the show and he's going to hand out Cadbury's chocolates, right? Uh, no, no, I mean those new commercials he does, Don. Oh. You know, where the professor says, but this, but this is different. No, he doesn't say that. He says, but this is different. Well, it is, Don, and you know why? Why? It contains nearly all nutrients needed by man, Cadbury's, because it has that famous glass and a half of full cream milk. And d does it taste great? The professor doesn't necessarily say that, Don, although it does taste great, That's let me true. tell you. He says there's much goodness in, uh, in Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate. It embraces substantial nourishment and... <laughs> I can't see with these rotten things on. <laughs> with <laughs> nourishment and enjoyment. Uh, just how do you, how do you go through life wearing these? I don't wear them. It, <laughs> it tastes great, but Bert, you, you do read the professor's lines very nicely. Thank you. Right, but you're not the professor, so why don't you just say, it tastes great, Bert? Because it not only tastes great, Bert, but it's no. good Chocolate too, right. but we all know that. Oh, I beg your pardon. But we all. Know, I can't see. But we all know. Give me the card. I'll hold it up closer just for to have a better look at. But we all know. You got ah, it? that's much better. Thanks, Don. Right. Yeah. But we all know that. <laughs> we all know that's why Cadbury call it the, the great taste of good chocolate. chocolate. Thank you, so. sir. It certainly was good nice talking to you. Bye now. No, it's all right. Bye now.
I thank you. Well, it's time to hear uh, those two people sing. Uh, I got a lot of delight out of watching these two perform. And uh, like I said into our studio audience before, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring the people at home, but the more you get into what Donnie and Maria are about and what they're doing, the better time we're going to have, okay? So it's all up to you. You at home, you just have a look at all of this because it's all going to happen. Here's Donnie and Maria and Jump Shout Boogie. Let me hear. Yeah. yeah. Some was going off the wall, they had to lift their spirits high. For Uncle Sam, motherhood and apple pie. Instead of spending money that they didn't have. Hot spots in the Bronx, they went to lift their spirits high. When the funky honky tonks, it makes you want to jump and shout. Knock yourself out. Boogie woogie beat is what I'm talking about. If you have a heebie jeebies, you can dance away. To the boogie woogie. Wait a minute. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going a second. Do you want to have some fun? Do you want? Yeah. Hey, Don, we're going to change things a little, little around a little bit, okay? Yeah, okay? Can we involve the audience? Whatever you want. You got it. All right? Yeah. Is that okay? Can y'all hear us? Yeah. Okay. We're going to divide the audience in half, okay? Okay. This is your half. All right. Right down here. This is my half. We're going to see who can be the loudest, okay? Are we going to beat them? Yeah. Are we going to beat them? Okay, just my section. Everybody snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. Really loud. Here we go. All right. All right, let's see you beat that. All right, you ready for this? Snap your fingers, okay? Use both hands.
wondering was when you do when you said you were going to do a number for us, I thought you were going to do something where you worked. <laughs> I think my side won. My side won. No, 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 no. no. I think you both won. I'm really happy about all of that, you know? Yeah, they were terrific. We, uh, we're going to bring um, uh, Jimmy out in just a minute. Now, let me establish a couple of things about Jimmy first before okay. he comes out here, okay? Uh, I was interested to find it. It seems to be uh, the age of three is the magic number amongst the, uh, the Osmonds. Yeah, right. Jimmy made his, so his, he made his debut on the Andy Williams show at the age of three, age of three. as well. Mm -hmm. right. So did you, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. By seven, Japan had voted him the number one male vocalist. That's right. right. Over there, too. And today he's on the verge, now I don't say he is because I've talked to him and I really don't want him to know that I know, but he's on the verge of being a heartthrob. <laughs> now I tell you, they are following this kid everywhere. <laughs> and not only that, but I think he's going to be taller than the whole lot of them. He's taller than me right now. It, well, that's not difficult. But you see... Oh, hey, you're doing good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Am I on your side now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think it's a good it's idea if we, if we greet him as well. <laughs> Jimmy Osmond. Okay, come on. I was teasing about what I said before, but uh, it is true. He is starting to become a heartthrob, is he not? That's true. The magazines are picking him up now, and there's screaming girls after him. And, yeah. and he well, loves it. And he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, though, you forgot to tell the stagehands that I've grown. Oh, what, because of the short bite? Right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You're, little You're a businessman in your own right, they tell me. What, what is it? You own a restaurant in Provo, Utah, and, uh, and it's called, what, Jimmy's? Yeah. What kind Original of Original name, right? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of a restaurant is it? Uh, it's a greasy spoon in Provo, Utah. No, it's really fast food. <laughs> <laughs> very fast food. Yeah, yeah. very fast food. You it's give good. it the food before they even order it. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to, uh, to have a fast food restaurant? Are you one of those fast food persons? Uh, well, I don't know. It's my, uh, my family's always inspired me to, to, to try to develop my talents and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've just, you know, the opportunity came along and I just... Uh, did it, I guess. I used to cook for all my brothers. I used to chain up the refrigerator and make them pay for the food. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. 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 And you cook. What's your best, what's your best meal? Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pick something really classy. Yeah, right. Really. Eggs. Home, right? yes. Eggs. You live at home uh, with your parents. Uh, all the single boys, did Yeah, Marie there. lives there. I yeah. live at home still with right. my brother Jay and Jimmy. Yeah. Is, it, uh, is that of your own choosing, or is that because that's the way you think it should be in the family life? Uh, Absolutely. We've been asked quite a bit why we, why we still live at home, because we could have our own apartment or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a very good relationship with our parents. And I would, I would hate to think that I'd move away from home and miss out on some of these terrific years with them. Mm -hmm. uh, they're hysterical. Sometimes we stay up till 4 in the morning and have water fights and chase and each other all over the house. And the house. <laughs> And I just love the relationship that I have with them. And we think that's one thing that really ought to be instilled in families a little bit more. And that's communication not only between the, the children, mm. but between the parents and with the children. Our parents and give us a lot of uh, free agency and uh, freedom. And uh, it's terrific because, because, of, because of that, uh, we feel an obligation for them and to them and a love that uh, is terrific. And Don, you know, it's such a great foundation to, to fall back on when, when you've got some problems in life. And to have family. To have a strong family you can fall back the on. The family thing is disappearing uh, a lot today. Uh, well, it seems so. that way, but it's, that's really not true. There, there no, I, don't, I, wouldn't mean, I didn't mean personally amongst you. I meant just in general. It seems like it seems to be well, falling yeah, off. It's less and less family things, but yours is such a strong bond. You can tell it is. You can tell it is when you're in here. You can see the way you all relate to each other. You know, it's Thank not... you. What do you do with your leisure time? Uh... I date. <laughs> you, you do? <laughs> you do both oh, hi, this is Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do everything normal kids do. I go out and golf and uh, yeah. play tennis. Nice. Got a car? Yeah, 280ZX, I love it. I'm going to get some sheepskin uh, seat covers for it. Here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they keep you really cool. 20% huh? cheaper here, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, he's a businessman. 
businessman. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me you're into flying, but not really flying. It's sort of model airplane flying. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a hobby that I picked up. Um, my brother Jay and myself, we, we play around with radio-controlled airplanes. I've crashed quite a few of them, too. Mm -hmm. Do you compete with those? Like, uh, I notice... Uh, a lot of people do. I'm not that good yet. But yeah. uh, a lot of people have dog fights, and they, uh, they mm. uh, blow each other up. It's fun. What about being the youngest one in the family? Uh, did, did, were you able to learn from their... Uh, mistakes or whatever they went through or not? The, the well, it has a lot of advantages. Um, let's see. <laughs> no, it's, I had a lot of great examples to follow. I've had uh, eight brothers, no, seven brothers and one sister, mm -hmm. and they've been terrific examples. And one thing that's really nice about it is they always let you voice your opinion, and I think that's important. And, uh, and uh, do they listen to you when you voice your opinion? No. That's more important. No, they no, never no, listen to <laughs> <laughs> No, we, we have good communication. Hmm. Yeah. And what do you want to be now? Now you're going into the recording studio. I want to be a cement layer. Do you? <laughs> well, we can fix no. you up right here if you want to. You're going back in the recording studio. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to come back with a band. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna your be own band or, or the family band? No, no own. our own. My yeah. own. And I'm going to go back and uh, bring out some new sounding records and... I'm excited about him. I really am. Jimmy's very modest. He's very talented. And not only does he have his own restaurant and things like that, but he's also very good at graphics and design. He's mm. designed quite a few album co covers. He's designed, designed my hers, newest yeah. one. And, uh, designed the album cover? He designed yeah. the album really? cover. Really? And Fantastic. he's done quite a few other people's uh, things, but he's very, very, very talented. They tell me, now we've yeah. got a set up over here. They tell me if I make some sort of a squiggle on this thing that you can draw something around that. Uh, is well, that right? I'll put it this way. I'll try. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. Let's go over here and have a look. Okay. Come on, Jimmy. Come with me. You two will have to wait here for me. Oh, right. okay. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get in a side. Now, what kind of a mark do I have to make here? Anything at all? Or? Yeah, just squiggle, but make it easy. Just, you know, round. I don't know how to make a hard squiggle. I have no... <laughs> there you go. Okay. A squiggle, huh? Okay, I'll make... Uh, no, the other side. This way. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> very good at that, Don. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy, you make hard squiggles. <laughs> Is that a hard squiggle? See, I don't know the difference between a hard squiggle and yeah. an easy squiggle. There's Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you may I think that's the river. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get finish the movie. Okay. Who wants to come up? Come on. Come on, somebody. Quick, quick. Quick, quick, right. come up. I just want you to come up here and you can stand next to Jimmy and everything. Yeah. And get, don't you think he's, he's very handsome? No. <laughs> you, what's your name? Sharon. Hello, Sharon. You, you sort of turn around so people have a look at you, Sharon. Let's hear for Sharon. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Uh, you, you can go sit down now, Sharon. We'll, uh, we'll, Thank you, Sharon. We'll, we'll handle your squiggle over here, Sharon. <laughs> Let's see. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> At you, too. Oh. <laughs> ah, Marie. Those are all bald. <laughs> Looks like Jeff Harvey. Actually, kind of looks like you, Don. No, never. <laughs> anyway. I think that's great. Let's go. Listen, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to see more of the family, and Mother and Father Osmond are going to be here as well. How about a hand for Jimmy? We'll be back in a minute. show you, uh, Jimmy came in today and he had about a two-minute look at Bert and I and then he went away and he, and, he, and he did this all on his own. But have a look. I mean, you you would know right away who that was, wouldn't you? 
No, you wouldn't? I mean, that's bird, isn't it? Well, at least you got... Wait a minute. There's two questions. The first question is, how come you got Bert's hair perfect on the first shot? <laughs> and the second question is, why have I got holes in my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Prophecy of things to come. Uh, I think it would be a good idea if uh, we had the opportunity to meet the two very, very lovely people. The first time I ever spoke to them or I ever even saw them in my whole life was when uh, we did the satellite interview uh, a month ago, a month and a half ago, whenever it was. And we got a chance to talk to Mother and Father Osmond, two delightful people who... Uh, <coughs> set this whole thing in motion with this family of theirs and uh, sort of set an example for the world as well, I think. So I think it would be really nice if we got together and gave a great greeting. Will you to George and Olive Osmond here? Thank you. children and they get a standing ovation. I don't know what that's a big deal, you know. How are you anyway? Oh, wonderful. Fine. Dog. Lovely to see you. Really lovely to see you. Does this traveling ever get to you? You travel everywhere with the kids, don't you? It's been about 23 years now. I'll be yes. on the road. Mm -hmm. Well, you must love it. I mean, you, you must love being on the road. As long road. as we're together, we're happy. Mm. That's about all we know, Don. <laughs> yes. What did you do before you started to have children? Uh, well, I'm, I have a first love. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, I, I'm a real estate man by uh, in my business first right. love mm -hmm. and insurance right so and I, I work with you and you were a secretary <laughs> well you were the one that started playing the piano all the time and uh, is that right you were well, playing the piano and I used to play the saxophone in a little dance band before I was married and you after I was married for a little while and he's the one they get the voice from oh. he loves to sing it's all her fault no. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we love music and we love having a lot of fun and, yeah. and i mean life is serious enough you might as well have a little fun as you go along well I, I reckon that's true yeah i wouldn't go against that what about let me ask you some personals now don't i'm not trying to really probe i'm just trying to find out some things who are the scallywags now there had to be some <laughs> among <laughs> 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 Which one, which one? I'm recalling a scene in California of Donnie and Marie. <coughs> uh, they stole my jewelry and buried it in the backyard and then couldn't find it. That's just one episode. <laughs> we were playing pirate, I guess. Or well, why don't you tell them about the other thing that we did with the, uh, your clothing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the peanut butter? Your, oh. All your clothes? I was hanging so out. So many that she can't remember. Too many. <laughs> hanging out clothes one day. I came in the house and it's too quiet, you know? Mm. So I heard a little rustle in the bedroom, and there the two of them are with their hands in the peanut butter, going all over their clothes and the walls <laughs> and the bedspread. <laughs> so I hurried up and got the movie camera because I knew one day they would never believe me. Unless I, I have that on film. You do? I do. Well, how come I don't have that film? I would love to see it. <laughs> a, That's a, in a deep, a dark A peanut-covered Donny Osmond. A peanut butter-covered Donny Osmond. We love it. What about the educational process? This must have been pretty difficult. I mean, uh, with, the, with all the kids entertaining and moving around on the road, how did you cope with that? Well, we, uh, we tried public schools for a little while, but it just was too demanding when in, down in Los Angeles where we'd try to, well, you can't please two masters, mm -hmm. the school board and a private tutor. Okay. So we eventually went with correspondence courses and set up our own school, mm. which was very well. My mother uh, comes from a whole line of school teachers, and we had a lot of schooling that way as well as uh, correspondence and private tutors. Do you think your mom was a, a, a stricter teacher than uh, perhaps maybe a teacher would have been? Oh, um, well, we had teachers. Away, I imagine you get away with a lot less with your mom. I mean, you can lie to a teacher, but no. you can't lie to your mom. <laughs> right. We had a lot of teachers. Though. When we were doing the Donnie Marie shows, for example, I was underage. I was a minor. Donnie was also. And we had our tutor there on the set with us. We had uh, 
It wasn't like you walked to a class and socialized. It was like uh, three hours of concentrated work, then you'd have a break, and then you'd go back into concentrated study. And I graduated a year early because of it, because uh, you could move at your own pace. You couldn't move slow, but you could move as fast as you want. But, Don, you were right when you said that uh, the mother was strict as far as schooling. Both of our parents were, because they really believed in education. As a matter of fact, I learned how to read and, uh, and write before I went to school, so they skipped me up to the second grade. I skipped it's kindergarten first. It's a very first. disciplined thing. You have to know, and they knew that they had to get it this way or else forget show business mm. because they had to graduate from high school. And I'd like to insert a thought. The Los Angeles School Board has a very good system. It is a good system. And so we had our correspondence on top of their system, which made it very, mm -hmm. very good. Yes. Wayne put himself through trigonometry without a teacher. Is that right? And <laughs> 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 hey, you want to know something else about Wayne? He's, yeah. he's a pilot, okay? He got his pilot's license before he got his driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, had, boy, I hated to I drive with the MIT. <laughs> that was the worst experience ever happened to him. You know, here I am, s barely 17 years old, and that's the minimum age you can get. Just barely turned 17. Got my pilot's license before I could. Have, my mother would drive me to the airport so I could fly three or four hundred miles, <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then come back, and then I'd have call my mother and she'd come get me, which is a three-mile trip to home. You know, yeah. and so. I said, well, this is ridiculous. I'm going to get my driver's license. So I said, ah, if I can get a pilot's license, it's easy to get a driver's license. So I go. And I, and I go to get my driver's license, and I fail. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, on right away, you know, and I turned right in front of someone darn near, ruined our car. Well, the will is, al is allowed above the ground. That's it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. No place else to go. Yeah, were you born in Utah? No, I was born in Idaho. He was born in Wyoming. I was born up by Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm a cowboy. You are? Oh, really? I am. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, like to be. <laughs> you, uh, well, no, I have a ranch, a cattle ranch. Uh -huh. they, uh, it isn't a paying proposition, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to? They did, did it for me. I, I appreciate it. Did you go to, to, to Utah because of the Mormon community there? No, he was in the service over in England for about three years, came back to get a job there. Right. And that's where I was working. I guess that's... And how important is the Mormon thing to you? I always hear talk about this. We had a 60 Minutes documentary on you, too. You, you may have remembered uh, right. George Negus from here when I was doing the documentary. Right. And we talked, to, they talked about all of that, but... It's a way of life. Mm. A seven-day-a-week way of life. Yes. A lot of people say, well, are you Mormons because your parents were Mormons? And... Uh, I say, well, yes, that probably influenced us a great deal, but I still consider myself a convert because I have studied all the major religions for about 35 years now, and mm. I can't find anything to equal it, to be honest with you. you, you my research has said something about you starting your own church, uh, or you are part of your own church. Well, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know. Was it something that said, oh, maybe there's enough of you to have another branch. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't know. And there's one, other, there's one other very important question I'd like to ask. What have you got written on your hand? My hand? Yes. I have some some makeup and stuff on there. There was a word on there. Is it is it a Q or something? No, what is it? Oh, this right yeah, here. Yeah, it says yeah. lift. We we switched the words to the song, <laughs> and we did it. And since it's live, they, I came here like uh, 30 minutes before the show. Yeah. And, we always do that. And oh, he always says, so Marie, you take this part, and I'll take this part, and you take this part. Oh yeah. No, and no, so let me see. Just a minute. It says lift. Look. <laughs> <laughs> we do that all the time. Like uh, we were, we were performing in uh, like you Bang write the lyrics on your that's head. That's how we, Bangkok. that's how we got through half we the Donnie Rishas. We, we'd be in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Bangkok, you know. Like we, yeah. we'd, uh, we'd have some lines to say in the language. Yeah. We'd say, "Hello there." Sign <laughs> language. <laughs> uh, you know, when we have to say something. Our two older brothers are deaf. And so we learned the sign language. Yeah, and they oh. taught us the sign language, and it was really funny one day. There was these people across the street um, talking. We couldn't, we couldn't uh, hear what they were saying, and we asked Tommy to read their lips. You know, he was deaf. He could really read lips, and he said, we said, what did they say? He says, I'm not going to tell you. You <laughs> 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 can always see that. Well, let me, uh, I want to do a little plug here. This is something, it's the first time this has been announced, and let me tell you about this now, and we'll have to discuss this. Uh, there was an, uh, an Osmond's, uh, uh, it's called the Osmonds in Concert, and it's a TV special. And I understand that this was done in your home state, in, uh, in Utah. Is that right? And you expected 10,000 people to show up at this concert, but what showed up? 
46,000 For, well, 46, 46, 46, people you worked in front of. We were originally okay. going to do one concert with Tatan, and uh, the response was so nice that we did two concerts for 46. for 46. Okay, well, this whole thing was recorded, and it is an exciting night. I understand all of the things that you do are there, plus a little bit more. I guess there's uh, fireworks and smoke and horses and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, wonderful night. Anyway, it's the Osmonds uh, in concert, it's called. It's a TV special. It's going to be on next Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. in Melbourne and Sydney. I would advise you not to miss it. It's a heck of a show. How many is in the cast? Is it... Uh, is cast of thousands. Yes? <laughs> all Osmonds. All Osmonds, yes. Right. All, all Osmonds, or future Osmonds, they could be as well, with all the single people. Anyway, I, I want you, I would really advise you to watch that, uh, <coughs> that television special. It is an event, and you will love it. It's on 7.30 next Wednesday night. Just one other question. Uh, uh, they're signaling me here because you fellas are going to uh, do a song with me or something. But I want to ask you... We talked on the satellite. You said you'd do a number with us. That's right. We want to well, do I want to do that. I want to ask you one question before we do it. You had some bad press in England. Yeah. The, it, it, the word even got here that there was bad press in England. Yet, you arrive in this country, and you do, you're doing more concerts than you intended to do here, and you're completely sold out. Yeah. Now, someone said to me this afternoon, it was exactly the same situation in England, and nobody can understand about the bad write-ups in England. Well, now, without you sounding like you're <coughs> copping out or making an excuse, what happened? Well, as long as they spell our name right. Let them yeah. <laughs> Good advertising. <clears throat> it's been a great tour. It's been like that pretty much all over the world, and it mm. was great in... I sang too hard last yeah. night, that's what's wrong. <laughs> but it's, uh, we've had great success all over, and it was not reported properly. Mm. And, uh, but that's passed, we don't care. Like we say, as long as they spell our name right. Mm -hmm. but, the um, audiences <clears throat> were there, the audiences great. were the ones that saw it, and they were yeah. fantastic. We and, had beautiful audiences. And uh, that's all that matters. I've seen you guys perform on any number of occasions, and there ain't no way you ever do a bad show. <laughs> anyway, you're going you're gonna to teach me this uh, yeah, song. Well, okay. teach yeah? well, Excuse us for a minute, Mother okay. Father. We're going to go over here and... Uh, Okay. okay, let me stand right over here. Take this one. Okay. Now, tell me what we do. So we just, we, <clears throat> you just follow everything we do, okay? Is this yeah. the way you wear this? <clears throat> yeah, just yeah. stick it on your nose. First, first of all, you've got to get in the right place. Yeah. And, uh, okay. We're down all a right. little bit further here, Don. Down there. All right. There you go. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, just follow everything we do. Follow everything follow you do. Follow everything right. we do. Okay. It's a song okay. called I Want a Girl. Oh, I know that. You know it? Yes, <clears throat> Ready, Don? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I want a good old-fashioned girl, a girl to be all mine. I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old man. She was world. got a cupboard full of household cleansers at home just waiting to get at your skin, right? Right. Detergents, bleach, scouring powders, chemical cleaners. Oh, good night. It's a friend of mine in the audience. It's Donny Boy. How you going? It's a great show. 
Galadia. Galadia. <laughs> it's a real Galadia. Yeah. They, that's okay, but they all damage your skin and leave it looking old and tired, but you know how you can avoid that? Oh, of course. Let Marie have a go at your own skin and it's <laughs> terrific. <laughs> all you do is give up housework. I did years ago. Ah, uh, yes, but not everybody can just give up housework. Well, if they can't give up housework, they should start using skin repair from Roskin. That's right. Yes, yeah, skin repair is a hand cream with special ingredients and a special formulation that only the chemist at Roskin know about. This special formulation forms a shield between your hands and those damaging household cleansers. It's so true. And also, too, that shield allows the, the moisture in your skin to go to work to repair the damage caused by housework and also cleaners. Right. So if you want beautiful hands... Give up housework. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. Is that a cheerio home, Gary, or what? <laughs> Mum's birthday or something, is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. You just smooth in skin repair, only from your chemist. <laughs> I used to have my own show once. It <laughs> <laughs> It'll help your hands look like you don't do housework. Um, firstly, now, wait a minute. Now, Marie, you, you're going to do uh, the wheel with me. It's going to be Don, Don and Marie's wheel tonight. Hey, all Don, right. Donnie and Marie. Donnie, Don uh, and Marie. If I can be Donnie and Marie, uh, <laughs> you and I will do the wheel together, and it'll be two. I'll, I'll teach you how to do the wheel. Tell me what? Just Donnie and Marie's wheel. We're all just going to do the, the wheel for me. The wheel tonight? Yeah. Don, I've been doing that wheel with you now for almost <laughs> six I mean, I love Marie, and I love all the Osmonds, and... It's my wheel. <laughs> so, no, but they are, they're, they're sort of a special guest. And they're just, they're, I'll they're tell everybody about your immigration problem. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want her to do the wheel? Well, what happens if I don't let her do the wheel? Well, then you'll probably never work on the show again. Good luck on the wheel, Marie. <laughs> No, you and I will do the wheel. I'll teach you how to do the wheel, okay. and it'll be fine. Right. Listen, we want to try a little experiment. Uh, What's that? I want you to go back with a little technique in something Australian. Now, they don't really know about this, and I don't even know how it's going to work out. We've got a gentleman here. Uh, I just want you to, to greet him. Give him a hand. Just say hello to him. Fellas, uh, these are the Osmonds. This is John Moriarty. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, John, uh, we had a, you have no idea how hard we had a search tonight to find someone who could play one of these instruments. Now, first of all, John, it's a didgeridoo. 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 Yes. Now, I think you ought to just... Uh, can you give us a quick explanation, John, about the, the sort of history of the didgeridoo, where it comes it's from? It's an Aboriginal instrument. Okay. And uh, it comes from the northern part of Australia only, and it's usually made out of a hardwood which is a eucalypt and yeah. Aborigines are a non-materialistic people uh, with uh, in a modern sense low technology I suppose you could say and people ask how do they hollow such a, an instrument out we say it's very natural we have a, a we just picked a tree and it's uh, done by <coughs> white ants so, <laughs> so if you want to pick a good didgeridoo tree you go and cut the bark low like that and just tap it and if it's the right sound, it's the right instrument. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. Now, can you can you show us some uh, some just some rhythm patterns there? It's a difficult instrument to play in, in one sense. Um, you have to keep a column of air moving continuously down the didgeridoo, but breathe in through your nostrils at the same time. So um, it wow. takes a little bit of practice, and uh, I'm not <coughs> what you call an, a, an expert, a top expert, uh, but uh, we get by. <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of a okay. demonstration. Have, uh, there are, there's that one rhythm pattern. Aren't there certain rhythm patterns that you get into for different... Now, what are those loud clicking noises you hear lots of times? There are dozens of patterns of, of the rhythm. 
and uh, it's very, very complex, depending on what songs you sing, what ceremony you, you perform in, uh, and that's uh, governs the, uh, the rhythm. But the clicking sound that Don was talking about <laughs> is the, uh, the sticks, and I haven't got any here tonight, but um, sometimes done with a couple of boomerangs, but uh, usually with two very hard wood sticks, and that gives a, a very high-pitched uh, uh, resonance. Sound. Okay, let's give the boys, give the boys each one now. Will you do me a favor? Show me how you put your mouth without blowing into it. Um, I'll do it without the didgeridoo first. And it, you vibrate your lips and have a soft column of air moving down. <laughs> That's basically it. You know how silly I feel. Jimmy's got it already. I can't read through my nose. <laughs> Sounds like a whole bunch of ships leaving. Wait a minute. <laughs> I get. A woman is not allowed to play a didgeridoo. Not everybody. No, a, no, a woman, woman. is oh. not allowed to play a didgeridoo. Oh, I'm Neither. so glad. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are you allowed to leave it standing up like that. It must be always laid down on Why a is flat. That? That's part of the custom. Oh, I see. That's see just part can, of the law. See if you can do sort of a pattern and then see if you can follow the pattern. Okay. Right. See if you can do it. All right, let's see if we can get Softer. All right. Otherwise, you, you get rid of too much air and you lose your p uh, rhythm pattern. He's <laughs> got Let me hear it. Go ahead, Jimmy. Let's hear it. That's an imitation of one of the cows on my father's ranch. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like an elephant with a problem here. <laughs> Well, there's one you thing for sure. You fellas will never play this <laughs> <laughs> How about thanking our friend for coming and doing the show? Today? Thank you. Hey. I want to. You're going to show us some. Uh, I hear you're very big with the karate. We're going to have a look. Okay. All right, All right. Yeah. All right. Start the dancing. <laughs> You get the jacket too. You have it? to have a gi. I a mean, gi? It's, all, it's all mental. Is this a gi? That's a gi. Okay. And let's see here. When did you start with the karate business? We started uh, oh, six years ago, guys. We started with a person by the name, I'm sure you know him, Chuck Norris. He was our instructor. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, the problem was, we just didn't have that much time to, uh, to study with him, especially when we moved up to Utah with our, uh, our uh, television oh, company and everything like that. Why did you do that? Why did we study karate? Yeah. Well, it's it's a great mental exercise, not just it's physical. A dance. It's, it's a dance. dance. Really. And it's a dance. Yeah. And it's a very Sp strong dance. Especially the Is style. Is that where you go through those things where you yeah. you move into? Not, not Can you like do this. one of those? I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> no, it, it's a the, the style we studied was Tang Soo Do. It's a Korean style, and it's there's a lot of kicking involved. It's been a long time since I've done this, but. You're, now I'll you're go going to break. It. How do I hold this? Okay. 
You want to hold it first? I don't want to hold it. In case I, may, I had a little kid in here the other day, I held it for him and he broke his foot four times. Yeah, see, I got my nose broken by this guy. I actually broke his nose. Is that right? Well, I'm going to have my nose broken. We put it in the act, you know, and we, yeah. we started doing this stuff, and we got out of time, and uh, my nose was all over the stage. So I gave up karate. I don't oh. get a kick out of it anymore, you know. Okay. <laughs> now, why don't you hold on this one? Okay. okay. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of mental uh, preparation to it, and a lot, a lot of uh, snapping is involved. What you have to do is you have to aim beyond the board, okay? What so if like, the board is saying, you're not going to go beyond me? <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't. Right. You have to hit about just back here. Right. There are many different ways to, to break it. This is just one. Well, the yell is also very important. Part. Yeah. The yell. We call it the kiai. Right. Want to make it interesting? <laughs> <laughs> Two boards? Huh? Try to start with just, one. Just one? Just one. Yeah. Just one yes. Okay. Just, just do one. <laughs> did you do this to music when you did this? Yeah, we, you bet. Yeah, we uh, choreographed it all to music. And everything. Is that right? right. Can you do that, Jimmy? He's a two. You two do pieces. this too? Yeah. <laughs> These are solid. They are, yes, they are solid pieces of wood, folks. Right. <laughs> His, His hand will not be after this. Okay. I, will, I will attest that they are solid pieces of wood. All right, do you have the pressure? <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. We got Julie Anthony to sing and a whole lot of other things. We'll be back in a minute. Don't go away. I want to introduce you all. Well, I won't have to introduce Donnie and Marie to this lady. This is someone that we're very proud of in this country. Her name is uh, Julie Anthony. Now, you two met her. Did you? Yes. Did, you all, did you all meet her? Yes. She's doing a play called Irene. Yes. That's right. In yes. Sydney. Yeah. yeah. She also went there. Well, anyway, let me tell you. There's no better musical comedy and big production singer in Australia than Julie. Uh, her performance in the starring role of the musical Irene, which we talked about, captivated critics and audiences alike here. And Julie went on to achieve even greater success in that same role in London's famous West End. Now, for 12 months, she was the toast of the London theatrical scene. She returned to Australia unquestionably a star, and then something happened, which might strike fear into your hearts because you would understand this. Uh, it's something that singers dread. Her throat went, and it looked like she may never be able to talk again, let alone sing. And uh, Julie, went, she went through a complicated surgery to her throat, and for three months, she wasn't allowed to utter a word. She had to go to three months without speaking, without saying anything. She just could not talk. But you don't underestimate Julie Anthony. She's come back better than ever. And anyone who watched the recent Royal Charity Concert and heard Julie's version of MacArthur Park as she performed it in the presence of the Queen will attest to that. The song she's going to sing for us tonight is a brand new single. It's called I've Only Said I Love You In My Mind. So ladies and gentlemen, and the Osmonds, here's Julie Anthony. <laughs> I love you 
This is, a, this is a terrific story. They say, well, you know all these people. I, I do, yes. yes. We yes. met in 75, yeah, 6, right. yes. Was that here in the production here? Yes. Then well, they never got yes. to see in London, though. No, no, no. But they came, I think, about three times to the show here, mm. which was terrific. Beautiful. Isn't beautiful she people. Yeah, she looks beautiful as well. So that's the, that's the great part about it, you know? Uh, Trouble is, she belongs to another network. I can't get her all the time. Oh. Yeah. I wish I could. Anyway, terrific tonight, Kate. Good luck with the single. Thank you very all much, right? And lovely to see you again. Lovely to Thank see you. you. Oh, glorious. Okay. I gotta, we gotta, we gotta, put, we're gonna do the wheel in a minute. Donnie and Marie's wheel in just a moment. Or Donna Marie's wheel. Who is this? What size is it? These? We got presents. These are, these are straight. You only get these here. Hang on. These are Ugg boots. Yes. Yeah, this must be yours. This moment. Ugg boots. They're perfect. They, they make them here in Melbourne, and, and they're perfect for you. Oh, absolutely. It's go, they go so elegantly with a gown. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, we don't have any for you. Uh, I'll give you mine. I love it. Oh, gosh, they're comfortable. I told you. When you, know you get back what? to you, what? I'm a little short. Yeah. <laughs> So am I, about eight or ten thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, are they good? Okay, while you adjust the, I want you to wear those for the rest of the evening. While you adjust the Uggs, what you want to do, what's that for? I'm confused. What's the pro promo for what? Oh, for Monday night show. Oh, we do have a show Monday night. Oh, I forgot. I thought this was it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's my special for the year. Monday night, we've got another great lineup of stars for you to meet. Uh, last week, you remember we spoke to Jamie Lee Curtis, the daughter of Janet Lee and Tony Curtis. Well, on Monday, it's Dad's turn. We'll be talking to Tony Curtis, the actor, 
that makes you laugh just by looking at the expression on his face. Tony Curtis, throughout his career, he developed into one of the screen's most likable and durable actors. He first rocked the film world 26 years ago when playing the part of a cultured English knight, he uttered the now immortal line, yonder lies the castle of my father. <laughs> Critics reckoned that his film career would be very short, but since then he's appeared in many films. Uh, he's developed into a, an absolutely fantastic actor. Uh, he had an Oscar nomination for his dramatic role in The Defiant Ones. Uh, tremendous praise, and who will ever forget the comedy role with Jack Lemmon and Some Like It Hot. He's presently filming in London, listen to this lineup, with Kim Novak, Rock Hudson, and Elizabeth Taylor. The first time that any of them have worked together for 25 years. So we'll be talking to Tony Curtis live by satellite from London in Monday's show. And do you remember the great musical of the 50s, Gigi? Well, that's the one in which suave, debonair Louis Jordan sweeps the beautiful Leslie Caron off her feet. That's, well, more than 20 years later, it appears that it's still happening. Leslie Caron and Louis Jordan are in Australia touring with the stage production, and on a Monday, they'll be visiting the studio with us, too. Tony Curtis, live by satellite from London. Leslie Caron, Louis Jordan. We'll be back with the wheel, Donnie and Marie's wheel. We'll be back in a minute. Hang in there. <laughs> Don and Marie's wheel. Tonight you could win this exciting new Toyota Corolla manual hardtop valued at around $6,800 on the road. Your new Toyota comes to you with the compliments of Pit Stop Motors of South Yaris and Kilda and Elstonwick, one of Australia's leading Toyota dealers. And Pit Stop Motors want your business. Discover the pleasures of the Pacific's best kept holiday secret with this seven day holiday for two in Madang. Fly Air New Guinea's Bird of Paradise jet to Madang, the South Pacific, the way it used to be and $1,000 cash from the manufacturers of the fabulous Linda range on quality electric blankets and products. Guaranteed for five years, sleep wonderfully with Linda. And three of the Australian bullion company's convenient half-ounce round ingots, 99.99% pure gold, valued at approximately $1,000. All right, love you. How about welcoming Marie? This is Donnie and Marie's real Uh, Bert and I usually just have a little chat in here about what have we been doing, you know, and so forth. What have so. you been doing? No, I usually ask you. <laughs> See, because I've been out here all night. You, have you know what I'm doing. I want to know what you're doing. <laughs> well, we, uh, we had a lovely time tonight. We had the Osmonds in. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, what are they yes. like? Oh, they're lovely people. Really? Yes. <laughs> You know your brother. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize this. Beautiful. <laughs> One of the Osmonds couldn't make it on the tour. This is the other brother. Oh. <laughs> you know your sister. Yeah. <laughs> I love my sister. Do you? <laughs> I really love her. <laughs> I love her so much I can't tell. No. <laughs> All of the other Osmonds seem to speak very well. You sort of have a, a slight impediment. Is that... That's why I don't make many console appearances. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why well, not in the yeah, act? That's right. Just, how, yeah. how do you talk with them? <laughs> 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 very carefully. Yeah. What's it say? I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit country. <laughs> And you're yeah, a right, yeah. I love my pit. <laughs> you also love a sunburned country. I love a sunburned country. <laughs> that isn't there. What is, what is your name, actually? Are you, are you the Osman we've never heard of? Yes, I'm the, I'm the very little man up in the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not having a bad but Roger can't talk with them. I, uh, I'm, I'm not very well known. <laughs> I'm the only Catholic in the family. <laughs> Other than this... Well, they pay me and they belt me and everything. <laughs> well, I mean, I've heard you speak, and I would too if I was yes. one of that family. Oh, it? well. Yes. I always say, Hail Mary, pull of grace, and the Mormons are in second place. <laughs> Do you usually serve towels in your showers? I'm sorry. I love my fish, but I really love <laughs> Well, all right. Let's uh, see. Marie, who's our first contestant? You tell let's me. Let's see here. Our yeah. first contestant is Brian Keasley. Right. From First Chapel Street. Do I see all this? That's, that's one Town. Chapel Street, Thomastown. Thomastown, Victoria. You got it. Say hello to him. Hello. 
just kissed her hello, and she said, I love my sister. <laughs> He's very far along. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can stand up here, too. It's oh, a, okay. It's a wheel. I mean, you can help me what I'm supposed to do. Okay, Brian. I don't, I don't want to. You can, you can sort of guide her. Oh, hello, Brian. How are you? Good, thanks. What do you do for a living, Brian? I'm a motor mechanic. Uh, really? Yeah, where? At Myers. Mm. You look like you'd be a footballer or something. Do you play football? Yeah, I play football, but not real well. <laughs> well, a lot of us do a lot of things, and we don't do it real well, you know. No crime. Look at Bert. <laughs> you, play you play football? Yeah. And what, you play it very well? <laughs> you don't play it very well. No. I guess you're a game at Melbourne. <laughs> I didn't mean it, by the way. No. Melbourne's no football club. The football team I follow here that doesn't win anything anymore. Oh. You know, so not, not really good. Well, are you excited meeting Marie? Is there anything you'd like to ask uh, Marie? I don't know. I think I'd just like to get <laughs> Just like the what? Get it over and done with. <laughs> Get it over and done with. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, don't, I don't play it. Is football the same here as it is in the States? Football, nothing like is the same here as it, it is in the States. It, it's, uh, this, this football that they play here, is, uh, it's different. Yeah. That's, that's good. They yeah. call it aerial ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, what do they call it? Aerial ping pong. <laughs> You're losing your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they call it... <laughs> But Brian, it's very nice of your mum to lend me there. But... <laughs> are you Brian, are you are you single or are you married? Single. You are. Uh, well, How old are you? No name. You nineteen? Yeah. How old are you? I'm twenty. Twenty. <laughs> That's like... all right. I like younger men. <laughs> All right. What number do you want to start on? Uh, six, please. Number six. Okay. You put it on number six. You put it on number six. How do I do this? Just spin it around. Oh, okay. Number six. That's it. Now you go over there, Brian. Right. And give it a big spin, and we hope you can win the car. Okay? Right, big one now. All right. All right. You turn to open that show where to open the book. Uh, you open the book to number six. Number six. Yeah. Number, seven. No, number seven. Number seven. Now you read. read. Westfield Shopping Center. Here's one. Here's one shopping spree that's bound to be fun. I won't ask you to help me. I, I, okay. <laughs> You've got. I, I want to see him say shopping spree. <laughs> here's one topping. <laughs> it's bound to be fun. You've got a one hundred and uh, excuse me, one thousand two hundred voucher to be sent anyway. Anyway, Westfield Shopping Town in your state. I guess you can send it to any place. Remember, Westfields have made shopping fun again. Is well, that right? That's you. it. You've done it. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who is the youngest member of the Osmond Brothers? Jimmy. You got it. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your bathroom. Have a nice day. Oh, that's all right. Let's go. 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 It's birthday also tonight on Dawn's Wheel. Have what was the name of our first contestant? Brian. Brian. <laughs> Shouldn't we give Brian something to remember his night with the husband? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> also tonight on Dawn's Wheel, say. Also tonight on Dawn's Wheel, you have the chance of winning uh, the TAA Dunk Island Holiday 2, where for one week you'll enjoy relaxing and <laughs> I mean, just that tropical high where you'll fly down to that little tea in a friendly way. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brian, what do you have to do with that? Have you won a touch ticket? <laughs> Also, the FAF electronic sewing machine with more inbuilt features than any other in the world. The value is $840, and the incredible time saving FAF rotary ironer, the value is $820, and the total value is $1,660. And also, from the people who deal only in air conditioning, this carry a quiet line refrigerated multi room air conditioner. This top of the range air conditioning unit that heats and cools is as fashionable as it's quiet. I think you look wonderful. Don't you think? You I think I, you should I look love like this. this all the time. At last, I've had the chance of wearing my hair as I normally do. <laughs> Well, I think you look like, you look sort of like uh, any minute you're, you're going to say, Scarlet? Do I look anything like Meryl? At all? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
No, oh. he, the mustache, but he just shaved his off. Yeah, how is he, by the way? Is he he's okay? doing much better, yeah. Uh -huh. He's he, home right now. And, uh, is he watching? No, he's not here. He's in Oh, he's making time. Oh, yeah. I see. I thought he was here. Well, yeah. he'll see us in September. Say hello. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Meryl. Good to be with you. Uh, a commercial break? Yes. We'll take a commercial break. Oh, okay. and, and we'll come right back with another <laughs> one. Okay. We are back. I must, uh, we must say something. The, uh, the Osmonds in Concert, which is the television special that's being shown 7.30 on Wednesday uh, here in Melbourne and in Sydney, is a world premiere, by the way. This program hasn't been seen anywhere else in the world yet. This is the first time it's going to be shown in Australia's experience in the world premiere. And again, I must say, watch it, because it's a terrific show, and they have a, a great time out there. We had a lot of fun doing it. We really did. Tell me who the second contestant is. There's somebody on the phone here now. Let's see. It's... Uh, Mr. B. DePaulo from Gladesville, uh, New South Wales. Right, Mr. B. DePaulo. Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Hi. How are you going? Good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Who am I talking to? Ben DePaulo here. Hey, Ben? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you tall, Ben? Am I tall? Yeah. Uh, fair height, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Just a minute. Big Ben wants to talk to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Big Ben. Hey, Bert. How long since you rang? <laughs> what? Good, good to talk to you. Where are you from, Ben? Gladesville. Gladesville? Oh, New South Wales. Yeah, that's right. W would you like to say hello to Marie? Of course. Okay, I'll put you... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on I a I want some qualifications yeah. first. Nobody's just allowed to say... Her father what? would like to talk to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ben? Yeah? Um, just exactly what did you have in mind here? Oh, I just want to talk to Marie, that's all. <laughs> I mean, uh, but, but about what? Oh, well, this and that. This and that? Yeah. Well, let's have a little less this and a little more that, if you're all the same. Okay. Just, just a minute, Ben. I'll let you say hello to Marie. Hello. Hold on a minute. This is Ben from Gladesville. Ben? Yeah. Hello, Ben. How are you? Thanks, Marie. How are you? I am fine. That's and enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just the way it is at home. Exactly. <laughs> you know Ben from home? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Ben, do you? Yes, I know Ben. Hmm. He rings me up quite often. I can imagine. Ben, yeah. ben skis over the mountain every weekend to come see Marie. Oh, I wish I could do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does the money does, really? Ben, what do you do? Oh, I'm a gardener. You're a gardener? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you need a good gardener? <laughs> Uh, is he supposed to spin this wall, too? <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing way he does it. You, you spin it. You actually spin it for... Find out a little more about it. Do you it, want Mr. me to spin this wheel for you? Yes, please. Okay, what would you like to win? No, what number uh, would you like uh, to start with? Oh, what do you... You have to start with a number. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, look, let's all sit down with okay, him. Yeah, it's go. okay. All right. Now, first thing you have to ask him is you got to ask him what What do you think... What, what, what number would he like to start with? Okay, Ben, what number would we you like to start music? with? We have a little music. I can't hear <laughs> okay, what's your favorite number? Uh, number four, please, Marie. Number four? That's a terrible number. <laughs> it's a very good number. Uh, what's wrong with four number four? It's gone 44, Don's 54. It's a very lucky number. <laughs> and I've got 44 teeth, right? Okay. All right, you want to start with number four? Please. Ask him why. Why would you like to choose number four? Well, I chose number, choose number four, right? Eh? Well, it's a good even number. Oh, really? Well, so yeah. six and eight. What? What's wrong with nine? It's been good Don't to us. Don't pick on me. <laughs> even. even what? Even. Even what? Even. Good even number. Nine's no, an even number. How old are you, Ben? I'm 20, Marie. No. You're 20? Yeah. Well, that's, that's nice. <laughs> You're single, too. How old is he? 20. 20. Is he single? Single. There might be something wrong with him. <laughs> Check it out first. <laughs> well, he's a gardener. Maybe he's a pansy. I don't know. It might be <laughs> I'm sorry, it was only a bit. Hang on. Ben? Yeah? Listen, what, what number? You want number four? He wants number four. Oh, okay, Marie's going to set it on number four, no. and she's going to spin. Just help me out. Excuse me. Just... <laughs> Come on. Come on, big fella. We got him. It's all right. <laughs> okay, you set it on number four, Marie. Sure, right. And then. you spin it. So reach way high up, but be careful you let go. <laughs> Some people just keep going. Go ahead. Okay. Right. All right. Ben? 
Yeah. No, it's a good prize. Tell Ben what he won. There, just tell him what he won. See? Ben, what, yeah. what on earth is that? Yolamba. Yolamba, the oldest family-owned winery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I beg your you pardon. Won. I'm sorry. Excuse me. He gave you the it's wrong. on the odd number. I beg your pardon. Here we go. Sorry. Okay. Such a fool. Let us carry. <laughs> Let us carry you in comfort from the people who deal only in air conditioning. With this, this carrier, quiet line, line refrigerator, multi room air conditioner, conditioner this top, top of the range air conditioning, air conditioning unit that heats and cools. Honey child, is this a special? Ha 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 you can ask him that question. He can hear you. Ask him that question. What date marks the end of the financial year? Could he hear me? Did you hear that question, Ben? Uh, yeah? 30th of June. How about that? You got it right, okay? Good on you, Ben. Lovely stuff. Just a minute. Hold on. Can, can you what, Ben? Touch like a bottom of Oh, for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll get you, Ben. <laughs> Say goodbye to Ben, but don't be all day. Your brothers want to use the phone. Excuse us, we're going to have a little talk back here. <laughs> hey, Ben, are you very close to Sydney? Oh, yes. You are? Well, tell Sydney he's okay, too. He can come down here anytime. We're going to be in Sydney. Uh, we, st we leave here tomorrow. We go oh, tomorrow. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. They just gave us a little notice that's that said right. that you fellas. Yeah, Wait a minute. Show, mm -hmm. Pardon? You have some tickets to your show? I think so. Yes, and you can buy them. Not going to give complimentaries out to Ben. He's a I mean, after all, since mania. he didn't get to spin the wheel, right? There's, there's eight concerts left in Sydney, Ben. All in Sydney. Capitol Theatre, June the 6th, the 7th, the 9th, and the 10th. Two concerts each night, 5.30 and 8.30. They opened the Capitol Theatre. There's some tickets available because they added the extra shows. That's oh, amazing. Okay. Yeah, they just I thought the bomb wiped it out completely. No, no, no. <laughs> it's open air now, but the seats are wonderful. Yes, yes, you love it. Ben, Ben? Yes. Say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Bye, Ben. Nice Bye, talking ben. to you. Enjoy the prize, Ben. I didn't even ask you. We asked him a question, yes, didn't we? Yeah, whatever. You got the prize, Ben. If Look, you'd like Ben, to be on dogs, hang the phone. All you up have to do is put your name and address on the back of an envelope and send to Don's Wheel, Post Office Box 333. Okay. Richmond, this is the real fun part now, Marie. Hang on, we want to do okay. something. Normally at the end of every show, and we're still going to do it at the end of the show because only this tonight, Donny Osmond's going to give away the gold ingot. <laughs> but every. every at the end of every show, every night, we give away a gold ingot. But we thought. Oh, see, you it's a little bit done. It's lovely. It's not for you. Cute. Stick out your wrist. Oh. And that's that's for you for being such a good sport and for coming in here and, and putting up with oh, all our nonsense nice. and doing Aren't all that. Aren't they terrific? So you just have it. Lovely. Okay? It's all good. So it says ABC Gold. It says Craig and Billy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Marie, just, just do us, would you do us one small favor? What's that? Don't wear it until you get out of the country. Will that be okay? Because we got it. We got it by very special means. Just wait till you get back home, Mary. Fell off the back of a lady. That's Here's it. A, uh, <laughs> um, we have to reach in here now, and what we're selecting is the interstate contestant, and Bert selects the local contestant. But in this particular instance, we'll let you. Can you reach in here? Yeah, yeah. I think you sure. can. Okay. So let it down there. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> let me see. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I got two. Oh, you got two. Just one. Okay, now take it over one locally. Okay. Swimming with entries. <laughs> uh, I've got June Turner of Cardiff in New South Wales. Ah, yes, and this is, uh, this is a migration spot for me. I've got Mrs. Joan Samartino. <laughs> Samartino of... Well, I gave it to him. <laughs> of, of, uh, of Wyndham Street in Werribee, here that's in Victoria. It. Hey, listen, thanks. You t that's terrific tonight. Good Very time. funny stuff. You, you, all the family will be back, and so will you, to say goodbye in just a little while. And Donnie's going to give away the gold ingot. We've got a little more show for you yet. Hang in there. We'll be right back, okay? Don't forget. <laughs> Thank you for these outfits. They're a little more comfortable than the other ones. We I think that's it. terrific. I, you know, really we wanted you to get comfortable in here. I thought it looked better with the Ugg boots, too. Yeah. Uh, we've, had, uh, we've had some great experiences with uh, 
not only groups but individuals. Uh, Sammy Davis, of course, uh, we will never forget what he did, and uh, Dr. Hook. Uh, we're coming back this year, by the way. Uh, maniacs will be charging in here on us, too. And, of course, uh, um, the village people the other night. But, uh, again, I said it in the beginning of the show, and I really don't know how to tell you, uh, express what we feel in here, because, uh, you know, there are stars and there are stars, and usually the bigger people get, the, the bit more difficult they get to handle, and uh, a lot of people never see that on the camera. But I've got to tell you, these folks are just the way they are, and there's no changing or anything. Uh, you, you know. You, uh, you, pick up, uh, you pick up the papers every day and you read about divorces and broken families and teenage drug problems and how the close family life seems to be a thing of the past and maybe we all ought to take a closer look at the Osmonds. Uh, of course, they're not only in tune with their music, but they're in tune with life itself. And uh, a big thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the Inga? Where's the Inga? Just a second. We just thought we'd have Bert come out and join us all here for the good night. Just, I just want to get this in because uh, Donnie will give, we'll pick out somebody. Okay. And uh, see who it is. Here it is. Here it is. Is it got a hook on it? Yeah. It does? No, I just pick out anyone. Yeah, just any, any lady that you want. Uh, any lady that you want. Wait a minute. Pick okay. <laughs> well, not, not literally any lady. I mean, just some lady that you look at and you think is nice. I mean, that Let's you... Let's see. Who would like it, first of all? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Ah, you. I'm really klutzy tonight. I'm trying to get this all in. There you go. Okay. Okay. You got it? Okay. I got it. Up there somewhere, find a lady and. Drum roll, uh... please. <laughs> Let's see. How about uh, up through here? <laughs> this lady right here. Okay. Okay. Could you stand up a second? If I just do one thing, one thing. You have been so nice to us, yeah. and uh, you've given us these outfits and everything. We would like to give something to you. Okay. Well, I would like personally to give something to you. Sure. Would you step over here for a second? Over. Oh, just right here. Now, I've been uh, I've been watching you, the way you uh, the host a show and everything. And you're, sure. you're terrific. Okay. You really are. But one little bit of advice. Okay. Gotta loosen up a little bit. You, you're, loose, you're a little loose. stiff, just a little stiff. Take your coat off for a second, okay? Isn't he? It's just a little stiff, okay? It's just go like this. Uh, 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 take your tie off. Take your uh, tie off. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now I have invented something for people like you. Yeah. It's called the handy dandy Donny Osmond Miracle Cream for boring people. <laughs> the Miracle Cream for boring people. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, I, as a matter of fact, I've got some right here. Um, have you ever wondered what you would look like with a mustache? <laughs> Doesn't he look good with a mustache? Yeah! Now, now, you never know. You ever, have you ever had a beard? No. You think you would look good in a beard? Yeah! <laughs> Do you have another one? Here we go. <laughs> Now, he's an angel, isn't he? Just a pure angel. We've got to give him a halo. <laughs> Donny Osmond is a warm, wonderful person. Now, now, you don't have a tie on. Well, we can put that a tie back on. Like that. Eh, we fix a little tie right there. There's no belt.